Okay, we're talking weather, everybody. Uh, perhaps you're tired of uh, eating here this afternoon and uh, evening. Uh, you know, we ate a lot of food here at Fox 17 earlier this afternoon. The funny thing is that, you know, sometimes when you eat a lot, uh, you end up getting hungry. It seems like the same distance of time in the future as if you just ate like a normal amount. And that's kind of happening to me now. I'm thinking about going and crashing that refrigerator again for another one of those little boxes of food they brought in here earlier today. Nonetheless, uh, it is cold. Max tossed it to me earlier, and it feels just like classic winter outside right now. We've got feels like temperatures or wind chills down into the mid to upper teens with some streamers of lake effect snow showers coming in, not in Grand Rapids. So if you live in around the Grand Rapids area, you step outside, it's really not a whole lot happening, but that's not necessarily indicative of what is occurring out to the west and the southwest with these purple colors. Uh, taking aim on these counties adjacent to Lake Michigan. Not really, I wouldn't say heavy snow anywhere within West Michigan right now, but uh, the snow shower is pretty light. Oceana County, a little bit greater in scale in Muskegon County. Light accumulations there coming southward into Ottawa County, where we have had these snow showers pulsing and uh, in intensity around the Zealand area, Holland southward uh, in towards uh, Fenville, Hopkins, and Allegan. Uh, accumulations? I, I don't know. I don't have any ground truth, but I would suspect that the ground is white in a lot of these locales. How much? Well, anyone's guess. I, I would just presume uh, a coating to an inch thus far, something on that order. Can somebody check in with an inch and a half or two inches overnight tonight? Cumulative from what has occurred and what will? Yeah, I'd say it's on the table. Not in Grand Rapids, though, not even close. Uh, dusting at most 24 degrees, variably cloudy skies at 7 a.m. Still, though, there will be light snow showers over towards the lakeshore at that time. So this forecast paneling is for GR. I don't think any snow other than maybe a flurry at 7 a.m. with broken clouds for a period back to mostly cloudy skies and then a return to partly sunny conditions through the afternoon, even towards the lakeshore should get some sun to show up. Uh, after you get your little, uh, as I said, coating to an inch, inch and a half of snow here through tomorrow morning. And flurries can linger through late tomorrow morning along the lake shorts. So don't be shocked to see that. It's just not going to be the case in Grand Rapids. Temperatures, these are actual readings on the thermometer in the upper 20s. We've got these north and northwest winds at about 10 to 15 or 20, gusting higher at times. That means that the wind chill calculator takes us down to the mid to upper teens. And like I said, you go outside in Grand Rapids right now, you don't want to be out there too long. It is chilly. Going to Ann Arbor. This is a big game on Saturday. Huge game. I'm thinking Michigan's got a shot in this one, folks. A lot of people don't think so. They saw that uh, Buckeye buzzsaw come into uh, Michigan State just a few days ago. I think it's a different story this weekend, but we'll see how it plays out. Future track model, European model starts to wane with those snow showers late morning tomorrow. A little bit of sun shows up, and then this clipper comes in on Saturday. This is quicker. I mentioned yesterday maybe a coating of snow early on Sunday. Well, fast forward that uh, to uh, probably early afternoon Saturday. We may pick up an inch or two of snow from Saturday afternoon into the evening. Even some lake effect snow showers lingering into Sunday. It's not a huge event, folks. Not even close, but another whitening of the ground aerially wide. Uh, this is not just lake effect Saturday, so keep tabs on that Saturday forecast. It turns out white in the afternoon. That's the way it stands right now. It's going to be a thin band. We've still got to track the track of this uh, clipper, Max. Nothing set in stone, but certainly the opportunity there for light accumulation. Look by next Thursday, though, Max. 45, not too shabby. All right, thanks, Anthony. And eight year